G'day guys, we've just finished this build for Shane from Papua New Guinea. This is one of my favourite builds to date and it's going to get shipped over to Papua New Guinea. It's a purpose built camera car for Shane to carry all of his media equipment and travel around Papua New Guinea in the jungle creating content. Shane reached out to us with a list of accessories he wanted for his build. We tweaked that list a little bit, gave him some recommendations and come up with the perfect solution to meet his needs. I'm going to take you through this build step by step to break it down and show you everything that we've fitted to this vehicle. We started up the front with the ARB large tube deluxe bar. This is in the matte black finish, which looks really good against the silver. We've got the steady Type X Pro driving lights. We've got the carbon 12,000 pound winch. We've got the ARB rated recovery point and the ARB protection plate. The protection plate gives us really good protection against the radiator to make sure we don't get any sticks and stones in there and it also keeps the grass seeds out as well. On the side here, we've got the ARB Summit side rails and steps. These are in the matte black finish as well to tie up with our bar. And we've got our Linex tread plate coating. This is a really good coating. I personally like it on my own vehicles, but especially in PNG where it's wet, muddy, and there's lots of clay tracks, it's gonna give that extra grip to make sure Shane doesn't slip over. And it's gonna last a while as well because it is quite a durable finish. On the back, we've fitted up a Norwell tray and canopy. This is a three quarter length canopy to keep that weight nice and um, you know, forward as much as possible. We've got the color coded doors and toolboxes to make it look neat and tidy. And we've got those flared mud guards as well for our track correction. Around the back, we've got our spare tire mounted. We've got our fold down ladder and of course the Norwell pull out drawer. And in front of that underneath, we've got the water tank. On the rear, Shane's gone for the Hayman Reese X bar. This has three inbuilt recovery points, one on each side, one in the center, a nice drop tongue, and a uh, bash plate underneath to protect all of the wiring as well. On the rear, we've got a J-Max coil conversion. So this is a 3,900 kilo GVM, three inch lift and 35s. The rear is being converted to coil springs. We've got the track corrected diff housing, which gives us a uh, corrected track to match the front. It also gives us the higher load rating for that bigger GVM. We've obviously got our springs, shocks, panard rods, airbags, everything there to make that coil conversion work. Up the front, springs and shocks as well, and then our radius arms to correct the caster from that three inch lift. These ones are the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss Muddies. Shane's gone with the muddies due to those um, conditions in PNG out in the jungle, wet, slippery, so those muddies are gonna do the trick and they're fitted up on the Method NV305 wheels, which are the HD version with the higher load rating to suit the GVM, and obviously the correct offset and sizing as well. Up here, we've got the Rhino Rack platform, which has been matched up to the height of the roof rack on the Norweld. We've got work lights left and right to um, give us plenty of camp lighting, but also to set up for photo shoots as well, and they are switched from in the dash. And then on the front, we've also got the uh, steady light bar as well. So Shane's gone with steady all around, work lights either side, light bar on the front of the rack, and the Type X Pro's up on the ball bar. Pop inside, we'll have a look at a few bits and pieces. Interior wise, this one was kept relatively simple, but we do have the Alpine eight inch head unit with a reverse camera, and that's wired up to the Alpine speakers in the door, which are in the cruiser console speaker pods. We'll pop the bonnet and show you a few bits and pieces in there. This one does have a fill filter and a catch can. So the diesel quality in Papua New Guinea isn't quite as good as Australia. So we made sure we fitted up a pre-filter just for some added protection. And we've got the catch can in there as well. Uh, this one does have a performance upgrade package. So we've got the Safari Armax four inch snorkel. This gives us a full four inch intake right through to the airbox for performance gains, but also to keep out dust and water. We've got a DPU top mount replacement cooler. Um, as you probably have seen in other videos, these are a factory cooler that has an upgraded core. So we retain the end tanks, everything fits as per factory, but we've upgraded the core to a more efficient core, which gives us better performance. And the biggest advantage also is the heat soak that we improve. We've got the NPC 1300 clutch. We've got the Torquet three and a half inch stainless steel exhaust system. And then once all of these mods have been fitted up, we've done an in-house custom dyno tune. This one got a 40% peak power gain and a 70% peak torque gain. 
but more importantly, the gains through the mid-range are really, really strong, which is where you drive the vehicle and where you notice it most. On the doors, we've got the new Clearview Next Gen mirrors. Uh, these are good, they pack in neat and tidy. Uh, they sit a little bit closer to the car than the original Clearviews, but you can pull them out as you need when you've uh, got a, a van or a boat or something on the back that you need to be able to see past. Um, that is about it for this one. As I mentioned, it's one of my favorite builds. It looks fantastic. It's really exciting that it's heading over to Papua New Guinea and Shane's been an awesome customer to deal with. So thanks Shane for choosing Jackson's 4x4. If anyone has any questions about this build, it'll be up on our website soon or you can touch base with the sales team. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep your eyes peeled for any future builds.